thousand likes for Ling Ling Forty Hours. Yeah. We will do a review on. Oh, do I have to do it? Do, we do a review on Henry Lau's Balan Plane. Oh. And we hit forty thousand in two days. Yeah. I kind of don't want to be destroyed by his fan base. I know you guys want it, but don't. 다 천재라고 이렇게 칼씩 할수 있는 기회가 많이 없었어요. We were not a roasting channel. 오늘 연습하면 애니 충분히 할수 있을 것 같아요. The universe wants this to happen. The video that we didn't want to do, but we have to. The person we are going to talk about is Henry Lau. So many fans just wanted to us to review Henry Lau. Review, review his violin playing. People do say Henry's fans are really chill, but yeah. I am very well aware that this video could be the end of us. <laughs> <laughs> but before we get into too much into it, we just want to clarify first of all that um <laughs> that uh Henry is an idol first and foremost you go onto his wikipedia page he says idol singer dancer musician he does a lot of things violin playing is just a small part of what he does we're not criticizing him as an artist i'm sure henry could probably make a roast video on our singing and dancing anytime we have attempted uh, to <laughs> so in this video we'll be talking about uh his violin playing in particular and also the current situation with, I'd say, media and how they portray music. I think especially for you core classical fans out there watching, we, we all understand this uh, discrepancy between what TV portrays and reality a lot of times. So um, stay tuned as we'll talk about that a lot. <laughs> we Enough be... of this. Uh... We're, we're, we're really protect trying to... <laughs> this is like the longest <laughs> intro we've yeah, ever yeah. made. <laughs> Ling Ling Insurance, guys. <laughs> all right, I think a good place to start is with the performance that s sparked this entire thing with the Reddit parody. This was Henry playing, um, I guess, arrangement of Michael Jackson. Yeah. All right, that's out of the way. Don't judge. Don't judge, Brett. Don't judge. Um. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't know. Why are you laughing? Why I'm just hoping my insurance protects me. <laughs> Before we go too technical, for a pop celebrity, that is pretty good. Yeah, I don't think we've seen an idol perform violin that well. Not even just an idol, actually. Many pop violinists. That's true. He's that's better true. Than yes, like he's, cover yeah. violins yeah, yeah, or like yes. dubstep violins. Yes. Uh, <laughs> not name any names, but <laughs> but he's actually. Pretty good. I'm actually quite impressed. But having said that, from a classical perspective... Yeah, and this is why I accidentally laughed. I just didn't... Come on. So the, the notes there... I thought you played the first... I was like, but you played it right the first time. <laughs> yeah, that was me trying to play it right. But what we heard was a series of miscoordination with the left hand and right hand. The notes didn't speak cleanly because his string crossing and his bow changes didn't coordinate with his yeah. left hand. And so you hear a little bit of unclarity. Yes. Any unclarity usually stems from the coordination between left and right hand. I mean, there's so many different factors. You guys probably can tell from the other videos, but this is one of the main ones. So yeah, so for those of you who can't hear the difference, that to a classically trained ear is not in tune. I mean, small things, but it's very obvious to classical musicians. Uh, yeah. Or not even classical music, just musically trained violins. Musical, yeah, and yeah. I think this is why it sparked that video on Reddit. Again, the, the run was too fast. Yeah, his bow didn't keep up. The but, notes. Yeah, so either his fingers didn't lift up quick enough, or the bow was also too slow to follow the left hand. That was good. 
Maybe mm-hmm. he's nervous, I don't know. Yeah. But it's and very out of tune, that chord, yeah. and he's not adjusting it. I mean, we don't really know. There's any variety of things that could be going wrong yeah. in a live performance. There's a loud backing track, he's got an earpiece. Maybe it's not feeding back enough. So as a trained musician, even when you perform, we're all trained to adjust mm-hmm. to what we hear. Generally, we try to fix it straight away. My hands are yeah. cold. See? <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, I don't even know what he's trying to play. <laughs> also, I will have, I will say, um, this like ricochet kind of bow string crossing thing. It's impressive for a non-classical musician, but it is also easier than it sounds. Yes, it's one of the tremolo things we talked about. Yeah. Uh, you could learn this in a few months on the violin. <laughs> string crossings, all four strings, and then you move it really fast, and the bow will naturally bounce. Usually, it's. Over glorified. <laughs> well, yeah. To to that mainstream. You, you could also say like Henry's doing a good job at picking showy stuff. Exactly. So he's choosing the right parts to show off to people. I think actually what probably sparked the parody and the annoyance from the classical musicians is not Henry's playing, but the reaction. It's just the same. It's the same thing with it's America's like, Got Talent. It's so like, why are you trying to exaggerate yeah. when it's so blatantly to the trainer, out of tune and... Either way, like, maybe they just don't, don't know. know anything about violin. Yeah, okay, see, again, his bow actually skid a bit. But this reaction... Generally, if that happens, it's not a... It's just a... In the classical music world. Yeah, but let's keep going. We're, we're spending a lot of time on 30 seconds. <laughs> He hit the high note in tune. Very good. <laughs> can I just say I can like visualize that Reddit video? Uh, with the chicken. It's so funny. And the dancing move. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> so good. It's not like a classical thing, but I guess he's. Being an entertainer. I think maybe that's just the job as an idol. I didn't say that. Uh, insurance. I don't Wait, know. I don't know. We're just jealous. We wish you had his yeah, dance moves I know, and his yeah, beautiful I, I looks wish, and yeah. his white suit. I know. I know. We're just, uh, yeah. I just. Uh. I mean, it's all right. I think the main thing is just it's a bit out of tune. Uh, a lot of people were pointed out that this was one of the worst performances. Yeah. So there's actually another performance of him playing the same thing. And this one actually has a lot more views on YouTube, so let's watch it. Okay, so some parts were definitely better, like the intonation. Yeah. Maybe not that last note. <laughs> um, but as a whole, it's proof that that other clip, he maybe just had a bad day. Because as a musician, you do have bad days. Definitely, if you were just to see that, it looks like he's a lot of a better violence than the other one. Yeah. But there's something else that did capture our interest. But keep watching. So here's another video of him playing Sardis. Can I just say that's such bad syncing? <laughs> so bad. Nice, some good things are this vibrato is like in the tone and he has phrasing. Which is very rare to see idle violinists do. <laughs> Yeah, all like people on uh, like shows like America's Got yeah, Talent, right? Yeah, everyone's just playing notes, they're not really playing the music. He actually has phrasing. Did, Did he, he skip the hard part? He just the hard one? Yeah, he, he skipped the hard part. <laughs> he skipped quite a few bits actually. Yeah, he well. skipped some notes. Like tricky bits. He's skipped, very clever. He, he skipped this bit as well. Yeah. I don't uh, think he did. The, he didn't do the grace notes. But I will say, like, he can do spiccato, he can do sautier. It seems it's like right. he has definitely been trained musically. Musically, he can play with the piano as well. Ensemble. Yes, exactly. It wasn't like perfect, but that's fine. It's a live performance, right? Yeah. Oh yes, his piece, Michael Jackson. I 
I think he has some nice moments in his yeah. tone. He varies his bow speed too. It's not yeah. just like meh, meh. It's, yeah. He has yeah. some good stuff there. Yeah, it's not bad. <sighs> gotta do what you gotta do, man. Yeah, you gotta do. <laughs> See that? Yeah, what was that? The bow stroke was short, but the note was long. You see that, but you don't see. In his defense, it could be an editor's pop-up. Uh, yeah, that might also be the, the, the case. editor didn't sync it properly. Yeah. I, I mean, I could think of all the thousands of times where TV has fake performances, yeah. but I don't want to say anything yet. Again! Da, da, dude, dude, he da. didn't even play! But that can't be a sinking problem. That isn't a sinking problem because he's actually playing very far and he just stops playing. That's what weird. do you think that is? Do you think they pre-recorded the music? They might have And actually. then they did a live concert. Yeah. But then it doesn't make sense because in a live concert, that means he would have not made a sound. Yeah, but the live audience wouldn't know. That's the true. The live audience might have just heard... Yeah, the that's true. Playing, that's right? true. That's true. Yeah. Oh, interesting. But it makes sense because you often see people dance and play the violin but the music they use is from a studio recording where they're not dancing yeah like it sets such a false expectation yeah. of what violin actually is like it's not impossible to dance and play yeah but it is severely much more difficult yeah. to play well it, it is because you're moving contact. your contact point is changing the weight distribution is changing so much in a rapid pace yeah the best example is like imagine dancing while performing surgery yeah like, like, yeah, literally. it might be possible but yeah. you're just not upping no, your chances I don't think it's <laughs> yeah. possible if you perform surgery the way you practice your skills the patient already Look, I mean, his dance moves were cool. That clearly was, that yeah. was something suspicious. Yeah, I think that was dub noble or something, something like that. Anyway, here we found another recording of its Sardis. Now it's a fan cam, so you know that there's any dubbing or mm -hmm. anything that's happening. bad everything yeah. slightly sharp. sharp i think henry ten you tend to play if you're watching this <laughs> you tend if to play this you tend to play a little sharp but that could also just be a series of nerves you know sometimes when yeah. you get nervous your intonation slips and generally you do play sharper i'm sure you guys can dig through our videos and find plenty of incidences where we play out of tune. oh yes all the time so. yes It's getting sharper and sharper. It's like global warming. <laughs> Dude, it's getting almost to a like quarter tone, quarter tone higher. Um. Well, look. Again, for an idol to play like this is pretty <laughs> epic. What? I just feel like we're just holding back. Because but... okay, well, okay, f it. You guys, <laughs> okay. You guys want the truth, and here's what I really think of his playing. I think we both knew that. Was, yeah, that was like, 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 <laughs> like the left hand and right hand again didn't really connect. Like that. So and also like the damper. It was a bit like. Yeah. Like a lot of his notes, the contact doesn't connect. You could have a bit more care with the string crossing. Yeah. And then he's like. Kind of slid through that again i think my, he might just be nervous so that's fine also one thing i wanted to say is he's being mic'd when you're mic'd there's already so many advantages because to be able to project with a resonant and loud sound without a microphone actually requires so much more skill a lot more skill because we practice actually and we practice projection part of the prerequisite of being a good violinist yeah <laughs> That's a bit few wrong notes, right? Yeah, if you're right. I think he also panics a bit with his uh, bow placement. There's a part mm -hmm. where he literally skipped a bit. Yeah. He does that like a catch up? It's not bad. I mean, there's a bit afterwards here. Well, I mean, that's why the other clip the pianist played. <laughs> <laughs> because it's the hard yeah, that, part. That, that is the hard part. It's the hard part. Yeah. What he missed actually, for those of you who don't know, is the... What do you call it? Like the a... Grace note. Grace note? Oh, the 
the modern C. And the last F was sharp. Yeah. It's fine. Looks like he's nervous as fine. I get nervous as well all the time. <laughs> Let's watch this one last bit. Is the Fallen like is that rock a, tuning? Yeah. It's I, like a semitone flat. Yeah. To be fair, he hasn't warmed up, probably. He just took it out. Yeah. The thing about this clip that bothers me a little bit is actually not Henry's playing. It's how the it's... TV dubs the subtitles, the skill they dub like. He's playing so, so well. So good. Ha ha. I, like, these people are musicians, so I'm assuming they know. They I know. think Henry knows himself. Like, if you look at him, he's like... I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not like, whoa, our ace. I mean, you know what I mean? They're yeah, overpraising it, to be honest. From Violent's perspective, he probably should have warmed up, but we don't know what it's like being an idol. I can only imagine how hectic it would be. Mm -hmm. And to even try and keep up Violent playing, like we said, it's already pretty impressive. My guess, he probably was a talented, hardworking student that was definitely classically trained in the beginning and just chose to focus on being an idol. And I think the reality of it... And it's like with everything, if you don't spend time practicing, things do slip. That level of playing, Definitely be not enough for any professional orchestral yeah. gig. Not that he couldn't be an orchestral musician if he practiced and focused on it. Yes. But just based on what we heard. And then from orchestra, there's still so much level oh, above that. If you look at the Ling Lings we talked about, the menu and competitions. That there's level. still plenty of years and hours and dedication, some talents, a lot of hard work. Yeah. And then even after that, there's still like the... The Janine Jansen, the, Janine's the, Kavikos, the Hillary Hillary Hans. Hans. Like The spectrum is so big here. Mm -hmm. Henry Lau's playing. That's probably a set in the mainstream world but not something we generally will look up to I think it's the details the yeah. details in the clarity and the tone and the intonation yeah that's what really separates it we're just trying to say the truth guys don't yeah. <laughs> but we then did come across one interesting footage though it's something that I've never heard of, but also explained a lot of the stuff we have seen mm. in movies trying to portray violin playing. Violin lip sync on the hotel. The hotel is 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 on the hotel. But that's so true mm, because when you get a rehair, there's no rosin to create the friction mm -hmm. so it just slides but it makes a little bit of sound almost yeah. no sound but with oil it just slides completely knowing what we know about tv production and the world there is a possibility that one of the reasons why one of the michael jackson sound is so much better than the other was because it could have been dubbed mm -hmm. oh. we're just speculating and in theory it could work with classical music it's not possible to dub because we don't have a stereo system. The sound comes from here. Remember we were confused when we saw the fake Chinese girl? <laughs> but then we are like, Why? how do you fake playing the violin? Because violin makes a sound. Yeah. Well, he basically just explained how you yeah. rub oil on the thing. I find it interesting that he knows this. Classical musicians watching this, I don't know if you've ever heard of this. We don't do this. I was pretty shocked. I was like, wow. And the way he said it just sounded like it's industry secret, like standard, like everyone in the industry. I know, everyone's like, hey guys, there's a little trick here. Look, I don't think Henry does it in most of his performances. Looking at most of the live ones where he's playing with the mic. Yeah. But that one Michael Jackson one, it, he could- It's a possibility, potential. I mean, yeah. Okay, yeah, so we're being very picky now. Visually, his fingers made a really heavy gliss. So technically, we should have heard... But in the audio, you hear... Yeah, the gliss is much shorter. This is very tiny. You know what's the other thing that's suspicious now after hearing that? Look how much it's both sliding. Oh, it's sliding yeah. From, do you, it's do you literally... think it's possible to make that sound? Because <laughs> like, if you want to make that sound... It's, you can see the contact point is very straight. Yeah. And I also say, because look, 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 look here, right? This other performance where it was, I'm assuming live because it was out of tune. Yeah. See, it's both contact. Yes! Yeah, so. That's a good point. See? So his bow contact there is actually in the right place. 
Here he's obviously doing real contact because it's required to make a good sound and obviously he's trained so he wouldn't be sliding that much. That's why. With oil That's it why slips. it's sliding. With oil it's actually much harder to keep the bow straight. Yeah. That makes sense. You won't even know if your horse hair is touching the string if you have so much oil. And because you can't hear so there's no feedback. I don't even have to look, I can hear my contact points off. Yeah. And it, is that straight now? Yeah. I can hear it. I don't need to look at it. <laughs> yeah. But because he's not make. We have no hard evidence, but assuming that he knows this piece of information, the story kind of, it kind it of fits. It kind of does it make makes sense. sense. Yeah. And the, la the last thing that was slightly suspicious. Whoa! Nice catch. Dude, my, my violin's <laughs> nervous. Yeah, violin's <laughs> Don't oil me. No. Okay, so listen to the live performance. He doesn't play when he does a huge body string. Makes sense because it's hard it's to play. I don't know if it's impossible, but uh, let's try it. Like. Nah, it's... What's most likely going to happen is this type of sound. When yeah. we move like this, there's a circular motion. And unless the hand is moving, it's actually too hard to catch the string. But look at this, the really good performance, 10 million views, right? You can hear the bump and just clean. Bump. Why, if he could do it here, why didn't he do it in the other live performance? Is it because he's doing that dance move and he knows it's not doable? But now that it's stopped, he added it in. I don't know. Could be a TV thing where they re-edit the stuff, right? Yeah. They could change the thing, so you never really know. Let's make this clear. Henry can obviously play, even if it is dubbed, and we don't have hard evidence. Yeah. But even if it's dubbed, he played the dubbed version himself. Yes. He knows when to use the vibrato, he knows when to change the bow, when he to knows slide. when to slide, and also which string, when to shift. I think some people might be like, it's so hard to sync it so well, it must be a real life performance. But if you look at his Ariana Grande Seven Rings cover, it's pretty much perfectly synced, visually and orally. Yeah. But any sound engineer will tell you, you can't record like that outdoors. <laughs> It's close to impossible. You just can't because just can't, there's, there's wind, wind yeah. there's other noises. The sound of the violin cannot be picked up that accurately. Mm -hmm. And so the fact that Henry did that there, it it's means not impossible that he could do it in a live performance if he knows the oil trick. I didn't know yeah. the oil trick. That's why I thought it was impossible. That's why. That's why. But it was also possible that he did play. Who cares, right? Yeah, no, who cares? <laughs> but you guys wanted it anyway, so yeah. here you go. I will say that Gliss was very suspicious. Yeah, I think that yeah. Gliss sounded. Anyway, despite all what we said, I think Henry's a great guy. Probably, I've never met him. I think it's cool how he's bringing violin into the mainstream. And I'm sure if we met, he'd probably be just a chill guy. Who knows, Henry, if you're watching this, feel free to roast us back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we hope this was enough of an in-depth, in-depth, in depth, yeah, in depth, depth review. review. We try to be as objective as we can, and obviously, it's clear there are two different types of standards. We're a classical music channel. We're trying our best, and we want to inspire you guys. Keep practicing. Don't let everything distract you. Just practice because that's the most important part. And being a classical musician. Yeah. Uh, what else do you guys want now, huh? Hmm. If you made it this far, we encourage you guys to listen to some. Uh, classical music you can check out our top 10 recommended music for people that want to get into classical music i would hope it's a good introduction and once again this is a long video thank you so much and we'll see you guys next time Subscribe to Two Set Violin. Uh, yeah, uh, classical music. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs>